as a trauma surgeon for this the question? Well, hold the question. Yesterday, Officer Streety reached a milestone in his recovery and was transferred to a rehab center. The transmissions between Officer Streety and the dispatcher in the moments following the contact. That just served as a, a, a reminder of the inherent dangers that law enforcement officers across this country face day to day just doing their job. I'm, I'm going through uh, extensive rehab to try to regain as most um, of the mobility of my right arm, I'm sorry, my left arm and my right hand, as the therapists and, and doctors can, can get me. Uh, throughout the day, I have to let my pain be my guide as to how much I do. So, um, and, and mentally, uh, I'm, as, I'm, I'm, as, I'm as well as can be expected. And if you can, all I can say is put yourself in my shoes and see where you would be in the same position. That's, that's about where I am mentally. So, do you intend to go back on the streets? I do not intend to let anything beat me. Exactly. Nothing, nothing has ever beaten me before, and I don't intend to let this beat me. What I decide to do in the future will not be an indication of me being beaten. Let that be clear. Nothing has ever beaten me before, and this will not beat me. And what was your reaction when you found out that, uh, that, that the suspect was caught in this case? I was elated, and I was, I knew he would be caught. I had no doubt that he would be caught. I was elated that no other officer or, or, or member of the public was injured or killed in bringing him in. That was where my elation came from. Did you have a chance to see his arrest and any of his comments or other responses? Yes, I did. I saw him on the news. I saw him on the news. Did you want to say anything about that? He said he was trying to kill you, and obviously by your injury, it was like, well, I think everybody in here knows what happened. So you can draw your own conclusion as to whether or not he was trying to kill me. I know what I think. And that'll be up to a jury and a judge to believe whether or not what he says is true. So, you know. Uh, Van, I'm sorry, did I interrupt? Not at all. Um, you know, the way he was pursuing you, and Firing, apparently you were both running, you were running away from him. I was running away from him, attempting to create distance, because at that time, I could not defend myself. I could not get my weapon out of my holster. And he was still shooting at you, and shooting at a, a, you know, a guy who was running away in the back. What do you think of a guy who does something like that? Well, sir, all I can do is throw that question right back at you. Mm -hmm. What do you think? <laughs> if you're running away from somebody, and he's shooting you multiple times in the back, what do you think he's trying to do to you? Sounds like he was trying to kill him. Uh -huh. I'll let all of you answer that question. If you're running away from someone who is shooting you, and every time you hear the report of the gun, you feel the round strike your body, what do you think that person is trying to do to you? He is not wishing you happy birthday. And a jury and a judge will decide that. And I think all of you out there have already made up your mind on that one. Can you talk about around?
benefit will be open to the general public. All profits from this benefit will go to Officer Streety. I guarantee that myself. Thank you. At this point, we'll open it up for questions. If you guys have any additional questions for anybody up here, fire away. <laughs>